bastards. All they see is a big pile of bricks and that's all. But this has been our home for so long. <laughs> I raised my daughter here. All of my memories, my entire life is right here. Everything is right here. My whole life is in this building. I can't. <laughs> uh, okay, Mom, don't worry. We'll figure things out. We can start looking at some different houses. How are we going to move somewhere else, my dear? Where can we move to? We barely can manage to pay for this place. Oh, Sybil, we're both going to end up on the streets. And you don't even have a job anymore. On one side, there's Yigit. On the other side, there was that other fool, Yilmaz. They both managed to ruin your career. Bravo. I swear to God, bravo. <laughs> I can just get another job. Oh, look, sweetheart. We are not rich enough to just care about being famous. You and I don't have that luxury. We have much bigger and important problems. <laughs> and the landlord can come knocking on the front door any day now. What will we do, Sybil, huh? What will we do? <gasps> Sweetheart, you need to push your manager to find you a job. It doesn't matter what it's for. Anything is better than nothing. Just find something. Oh, Mother, but she can't. She can't do anything. The same week my campaign came out, I was photographed at a mafia spot with a mafia boss's son, and the whole country found out. What company will want to hire me to represent them now? Oh, honey. Remember that Yigit was offering you money. Just take it. But who do you think I am? There's no way I'm taking any money from that stupid man. It's compensation. Well, you know what? I'll find a job and I'll work hard. Uh, there's no reason to involve him in our business. Oh, for God's sake. What do you think you're going to do to get a job, my dear? Do you want to be a cashier in some <laughs> shop? Or maybe a waitress in a cafe? Do you think that would suit you? Oh, just think about what you're saying, my dear. It doesn't matter if it suits me. We just need to find a way to resolve this. Oh, you stubborn bratty girl. <laughs> oh. So then, what happened? Let's call it a work accident. It was a work accident? So what you're trying to say is that the Mafia was getting revenge? Sybil, he just barely cheated death. Can you imagine how he must be feeling? He was being tortured for something that he didn't do. Who knows what's going through his head? God protect his soul. <sighs> you know, I never thought that I'd feel so sorry for somebody who treated me so badly. Don't think about that, Sybil. God spared him for a reason. I was so afraid. He won't even look at my face. Anyway, I hope he gets better. What's going on? Why is your mother crying? Our landlord is kicking us out. You're kidding me. Yeah, he wants to restore the place and then sell it. Apparently, we don't have a rental contract or a bank document, so we're forced to move out. My God, what's going on here? Kefzer also told me to find a place. She must be selling her place as well. What's going on in this neighborhood? I've wanted to get out of this neighborhood my entire life. If somebody were to tell me that I'd be sorry to leave, I would laugh in their face. Ha, ah, but this neighborhood is our home, girl. We've all become one big family here. <sighs> now they want to scatter us to make some cash? They can forget it. I won't let them win. I will find a way to fix this. <laughs> 